There's no way. There's no way. There's no way you're getting that with a slow spin. There's no... What? Today we're going to be talking about GTA Online and why it's still such a fun and popular world to play in. GTA Online is currently averaging about 120,000 people playing it a day on Steam alone, which is insane for a seven-year-old game. I want to talk about what makes it so fun. So we're going to split it into three sections. The grind, free play, and missions. But before we get into those three, I want to go through some quick tips. Tip number one, choose whether you want to drive or shoot. You either go mouse and keyboard for shoot good or you go controller for drive nice. Tip two, keep yourself stocked up on snacks at any convenience store. They heal you up really quick in a firefight. Tip number three, 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 take cover behind a wall to skip the snack eating animation. Tip number four. You can buy any and all of the DLC weapons on the right hand side of the ammunition shop, so check them out. Tip 5. The Armored Karuma is an amazing car when fighting enemy AI as they just don't know how to shoot you while you're in it. But it is really bad against explosives. I also think it might be like locked behind a heist, maybe? You can look that one up yourself. The Grind. Just so you know my position on grinding, I've got all of the achievements in Adventure Capitalist. I mean. I play World of Warcraft for fun, for crying out loud. The grind in GD Online is, frankly, insane. And I'm all for it. There are two things that you need to grind out in GTA Online. Money and RP. Money is the never-ending resource that you need in GD Online, and it's what you're always going to be grinding for. Everybody has a different way to grind for money from the tryhards who just find the mathematically best way to grind it out and just keep that loop going for hours on end to the people who, you know, just use mommy's credit card to buy up some shark cards. My favourite way I, I think is the most common and it's to run the businesses. There's about six different businesses in GTA. You've got your crates, your cars, your nightclub, your motorcycle gang, gun running and your airplane hangar business. They all work differently and each have their own pros and cons, except for the airplane one. That one pretty much just sucks. Except, if you get the one in Fort Zanacudo, then you just get free reign to walk around in there, which, which is actually pretty cool. The nightclub is an idle man's dream business. It just always builds up stock for as long as you're online and in a multiplayer lobby. But you do need other businesses for this to build up stock. I wouldn't recommend getting the nightclub as your first business because it's highly dependent on which other businesses you own. The more of the other businesses you have, the more money that will generate for the time you're on the server. The motorcycle gang has multiple separate businesses that you have to run. For example, I have a coke and a meth factory where you have to buy supplies which then get converted into stock after some time and you can sell them. You can do missions to get supplies, but it's really not worth it when you have multiple other businesses running at the same time. The cars business is a personal favourite of mine, because I mean, it's literally just Grand Theft Auto. You steal cars, and then you sell them. The actual sales for all of these businesses are just great. You have to do these in a public lobby with randomers, so it comes with risk. I mean, look at this sale here for my nightclub. On this one, we've got to go and find a helicopter and then follow it to the sail point. And everybody that's in the server with me is going to know that I'm trying to do this. And GDA is going to tell them to come and destroy my van. All right, there's the helicopter. P please note, I switch off from the machine gun on the top of my van to the flare gun. And uh, I forget to switch back. That's a little important note there. <laughs> so let's follow the helicopter for a bit. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go. Mm. Mmm, gotta love driving with a keyboard. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, gorgeous. All right, this is the bit where we start to get a bit sweaty. Cause, uh, mm, oh, what's this? Looks like these two fools are getting a bit close to uh, me when I'm on a sail here. Better, better get going quick. Yeah, they're definitely onto us. That's okay, we're near the sail point. We just gotta turn into here and then I think, what the frick? All right, we gotta fight him. All right, just, it's okay, just use the minigun on top. That's not doing much damage, it's... Obviously, it's, I'm, I'm leading in. It's not the minigun, I'm using the mini SMG instead. So, um, why don't we just quickly switch to the minigun and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, 
Job's done. Seriously though, the minigun on that van is so good. If you got a nightclub, you have to have that minigun. Grinding XP basically just happens as you play. There are optimum ways to do it, but I basically just messed around to level 120. And level 120 is where you unlock everything that changes the gameplay. The thing that sucks about being low level in GTA Online is that you unlock body armor and health as you level up. So the lower you are, the less powerful you are. Never mind the fact that your cars suck and you don't have any businesses to get started with. My recommendation for low level people or low level players is that you grind out missions, which I'll cover later. Free play. Free play is the perfect place to be messing around with your boys. GDA is a game that, like many, is just so much fun with your boys. Now obviously it doesn't matter who your boys are, they could be guys that you found on the server, they could be girls. In my case, I play with two, my two brothers and my dad. So for my dad, he literally is with his boys. Free mode is where you get to show off all the expensive toys you've bought with all the cash you've grinded out. So go get your nice cars, show them off. Check this one out, this is my dad's newest car. So we just messed about with it for 20 minutes. Here's a quick look at my collection of cars I've got going. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. This is a lot of money, one of those. You should, should be impressed. You could also chase down someone who's trying to do a sale, but that's kind of a dick move. Don't be that guy. It, it's honestly really spooky on the other end. It's, it, it's really scary. <laughs> Another thing that I always find myself doing during these times of uh, free play is you have a huge shootout with the cops. Don't judge, this is GDA, not Red Dead. Free play is also the place where you have to do all of your business work, as mentioned earlier. And that is much easier with friends. Free play is gonna be massive in just your time in GDA, really. Free play also covers the heist setups that you'll be doing. And speaking of heists, missions. Missions are a real juicy part of GTA Online. This is where you go to have a break from your businesses, and frankly, missions are a good place to begin your journey as a new or low-level player. This is where you get your heists, your races, your shootouts that actually make money. My favourite of these is definitely the heists, but they take a lot of setup. You actually do have to have certain expensive buildings, and sometimes you just need to put up a lot of money to start a heist. Races are a close second favourite of mine, because it's so much fun to just go in and play in a nice arcade engine. Yeah, I play with mouse and keyboard controls, but you find a lot of people do in GDA. It actually tells you in the menu who's using a keyboard and mouse and who's using a controller. As for heists, over the course of three sessions, me and my dad worked on the setup missions, including getting the clothes, vehicles, weapons, information, and everything else necessarily to finally go to complete the heist. The cool thing about this one is you can redo it, but you can change how the actual heist is done each time. You wanna go stealthy? Do it. You wanna go in guns blazing? You can do that too. That That's actually kinda of both the options. But, but it's fun. <laughs> if you do find yourself playing solo and free play isn't your thing, go driving. There's a few communities out there for racing. I mean, Bruffy1322 is a brilliant one. Yeah, I like to watch them on Twitch, etc, etc, etc. But um, yeah, go to certain discords. I'm sure there's communities out there that'd be willing to accept you. I guess what I'm trying to say with this video is the GDA Online team have kept the online part of GDA 5 alive. They've been adding updates on the regular. When online first came out, you literally couldn't do anything compared to nowadays. It was so inaccessible. They've changed the game in a great and fun way, akin to how Fortnite keep changing the items in their game, they change the map, change whichever sponsor they're throwing in the game for that month. I think it's that spirit that's keeping GDA Online alive. Oh yeah, it's also currently free on the Epic Game Store, so go get it. It's, it's free. <laughs>